So uh, life is stressful and school is stressful. And I think that we all know something about that here. But did you know that reading just for six minutes reduces stress by 68%? According to a study conducted by the University of Sussex, it does. Even more than listening to music, drinking a cup of tea, going for a walk in nature, or playing video games. Uh, now I want to ask you a question. How many of you read at least one book per month? Raise your hand. Good. <laughs> Only one. And how many a book per year? Okay. So according to the National Institute of Statistics, uh, uh, in 2016, uh, in Italy, only 55.6% uh, of the population reads at least one book per year, while only 5.7% uh, of the population reads at least one book per, per month. Uh, but why would you read? There are many reasons, but I'm going to tell you about the ones that maybe you don't know. Uh, reading trains your imagination, because you try to recreate the things that you are reading, in your mind. Uh, but reading also stimulates the production of oxytocin, which is, in fact, a hormone that makes us be more empathic, more sensitive, and makes us connect better with people. That's why uh, reading is also used in book therapy. Book therapy is a therapy, of course, um, which is used uh, with minor and medium mental disorders, such as depression or anxiety. Um, it, of course, it's always flanked with normal therapies, but it helps uh, these people to realize that they are not alone and express their feelings. Um, Dr. Neil Barnard uh, also shows how reading can even prevent Alzheimer. Um, but uh, now I would like to give you a few tips on how to start reading. Um, you can start by something little and something that you are interested in. You don't need to start with classic literature. And, for example, if you are interested in video games, there are books about uh, video games or books uh, uh, from which video games are taken from. Uh, or if you are interested in motorbikes, there are books about motorbikes. Uh, another suggestion that I can give you is to start with a book that you have seen a movie about. Uh, so it will be less boring for the first times because you, you, um, you already know the characters and the places. Um, now I would like to leave you with a quote by Umberto Eco, which is, those who don't read at 70 years will have only lived one life, theirs. Those who read uh, will have lived 5,000 years. They were there when Cain killed Abel, when Renzo married Lucia, and when the party was looking at the infinite, because reading is a backwards immortality. Thank you.